Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Throne. Um, today, I'll teach you some tips on this game. Uh, the, the background gameplay is me playing as fish with the super crossbow in the beginning, and then the super plasma cannon in the end, and it's uh, some fun gameplay. It's not really the best to show like strategies and like what I did, because I just kind of mindlessly went around killing things, which is fun, but you know, it's it's not really... The best way to play the game but i did pick the ultra where you have infinite ammo for seven seconds so i kind of had to run around and you know mindlessly kill things so you know it's whatever anyway today we're gonna tell you some tips and uh, i guess i guess some tricks in uh, nuclear throne and let's start off with number one which is learn from the wiki the wiki has so much stuff that's important to learn and it basically has everything that you can learn, anything that you can learn in this game. Whether it be enemies, bosses, you know, dodging, uh, strategy, um, you can do that. And also learn from the community, uh, like the Nuclear Throne community on Steam. So just learn from that. I recommend spending at least an hour or two on that altogether. Um, just, just, just learn some things, you know. The basis of the game you don't have to know like the background the lore of like where freaking fish came from and like what type of fish he is no no just just learn like just just the regular things like mutations and uh guns and damages just just learn from the wiki don't go into this game blind number two is practice playing as one character and i have in parentheses on my screen here fish or crystal because those are the two first unlocked ones, uh, I believe, as of now, in Update 95. So this is an Update 95, by the way. Things can change in uh, the future updates and whenever the game is released. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if these are the easiest players or easiest uh, characters, but uh, I think they still will be. And I say easiest because um, with Fish, you don't really have to worry about using his passive ability because there's nothing to use like you just pick things up you don't have to worry about his regular ability uh, because really I mean it, it doesn't change the game it's not like a game changer if you roll you're not gonna kill like 50,000 more enemies you don't really have to worry about it and it definitely helps with dodging so fish is really good for the beginning don't have to worry about ammo too much crystal is also really good for the beginning because you get 10 health which is two more you can shield which is great because a lot of people won't know how to dodge yet so Crystal and Fish are the best, uh, the worst uh, characters to play as in the beginning. Probably Melting, Rogue, and Rebel, just because you uh, lose health so quickly. And it's kind of scary to play those characters in the beginning because they lose health so quickly and uh, you can die really easily. Or you can, you know, come out big and completely destroy the game. Number three is Learn Mutation Combos. And I have in parentheses here what to pick, what to not pick. So, with mutation combos, what I mean by that is basically one combo comes to mind, and it is Rabapaw, Plutonium Hunger. It's a great combo, just delicious, and it's awesome. It's the, it's the combo of legend. Um, and uh, what, what, I, what I mean by mutation combos is don't pick, like, all weapon specifics, then like pick a bunch of crap like sharp teeth and gamma guts and crap you want to even them out you want what like maybe one or two weapon specifics at most sometimes even none if you have scarier face you don't really need one um and some health you need at least one health mutation that's what i would do is at least one i mean rubber pop plutonium hunger kind of works as a health mutation because you get more health packs and it's easier so just saying you're gonna want to do that um and also learn like what mutations this is still in three um what mutations go well with your character do not pick gamma guts as melting in the beginning you're gonna have no idea where you're doing you're gonna get hit by something maybe it will die i mean I'm, i don't really know if it will die or not because i don't really i'm not really a fan of gamma guts i don't think it's very good um, but you know, it's, it's just whatever. It's whatever. You, you just, just need to learn how mutations affect your character, which ones you should do, 
which ones you should not do, stuff like that. Number four kind of goes with mutations. Learn weapons and combos. So, what you, what you need to learn is how much damage a weapon does one of yours, not one of the enemies. I'll get to that later. And uh, what you should do with weapons. In general, in this game, you want a slow, high damaging weapon, be it a cannon or whatever, with a fast, high damaging weapon that usually uses a little bit more ammo, but it is fast. And that's what I pick. Of course, you could do double slow, you could do double fast. Double fast is really easy, but double slow is a little bit harder. You're probably going to have to use steroids for that, but uh, just learn your weapons, learn how much damage they do, learn how many hits it takes to kill an enemy, um, learn you know how much ammo it will take to kill this guy, just stuff like that. Learn what the new weapons do that you find, um, learn like, I don't know, how many enemies can be pierced with a crossbow, stuff like that, because it is useful, it's definitely useful, um, and uh, you'll, you'll probably find yourself actually needing to just kind of have this this flashback to um, learning your weapons because it is definitely useful to learn which weapons do what, which weapons you want to pick up, and which weapons you want to drop. So number five is learn to dodge. Um, dodging in this game is probably the biggest <laughs> part of the game besides actually killing. You need to know how to dodge and um, in this gameplay I actually dodge a super plasma cannon that was bounced back to me by an IDPD officer. I don't know how I did it. I don't think it was skill. I think I was just kind of running towards the guy and hoping, you know, for my life that I wouldn't be hit by one of those things. But you need to learn how to dodge. Um, I've seen some people ask other people and me what I look or what I or they look for whenever you're dodging. Do you look at the character? Do you look at your enemies? Do you look at the bullets? What I do is I do not look at the character. I don't find that very good because it narrows your field of vision. What I do is I look at whatever is closest to me, really, um, and whatever will do damage. So if there's a bullet close to me, I will look at the bullet and I will try to dodge that bullet. Um, if there's a bunch, I will still look at the group of bullets and try to go through like one little small crevice of the barrage of bullets. Um, if there's enemies that, you know, can, like, run into me, I will look at the enemy. Just basically look at anything that does damage and, um, kind of go in with this, with the whole dodging thing. Learn damage amounts, um, for you and the enemy, like I said. Like, what the enemy, uh, I already kind of covered this, how many damage points you need to do to an enemy. Um, but you definitely need to know how much damage an enemy will do to you. Do not go, you know, walking up, hugging a freaking plasma minigun IDPD officer that is not gonna work ever unless you're and actually no it won't work <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will really never ever work unless you're Jesus or something and you can like make him repent but um, definitely know how much damage things do know that like scorpions their bullets I was gonna say bolts for some reason I, I, I like made a bullet sounded kind of dumb whatever uh, scorpion bullets do two damage Unless that gets changed, um, you know, regular red bullets do three, uh, you know, just just stuff like that, stuff like that, where you need you need to know this stuff. Um, you need to know what's gonna one hit you. You need to know that a van is gonna one hit you and not like stop in the middle of the road. You know, you just can't not know things. You have to know a lot of things to get good at this game. Um, just learn learn the damage, and if you don't learn the damage, you have to get really good at dodging then. So you won't have to find out what the damages are. Or you can just find out what the damage are by, by dying. So, you know, it's whatever, but just learn the damage. Number seven goes, again, with damage and kind of dodging. Learn enemies and bosses. Learn how much, like, time you have before an alligator will start shooting. Learn how much time you have before, like, a IDPD officer will start shooting learn just how an enemy moves and like whether it will charge at you or throw a car at you or like golden tanks will you know shoot really quickly or lightning uh, crystals will you know i've never actually been damaged by one so i'm not sure how much damage they do but let's just say they do a bunch so those guys will do a bunch so you know just just learn enemies and learn like 
what the uh, assassins, how fast they are, learn how, how fast enemies are is actually a really good thing to learn because you know how much time you have before you have to start shooting. Um, also kind of going with the enemies, learn like how far a car will explode so you don't, you know, have to be by that. Learn how far a golden car will explode because um, those are two different things. And uh, like I said, also learn the bosses, learn that little hunter, you know, flies up, there's going to be a shadow on the ground, and you're going to want to hide behind a thing whenever you see that shadow so that he doesn't, like, spawn right on top of you. Um, learn that, you know, big bandit can run into you, but I don't think he does actual contact damage whenever he's just standing there, but if he runs into you, you will die. Um, just just learn the bosses, and, and you'll be on your way to victory. Number eight is learn to be accurate. This may be kind of obvious, but uh, you don't want to spend like 700 bullets trying to kill one bandit. I'm not really sure how you can, but you need to learn to be accurate to conserve ammo and to get the most out of a bolt or whatever. If you see three bandits in a row, uh, in a row horizontally, do not kill each of them, you know, vertically. Don't do that. Try to get one, bo one bolt to kill them the whole way, or like one laser shot or whatever. Just learn to be accurate, um, and you'll you'll really you know be <laughs> you'll you'll be going good. I guess I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Number nine is learn sound cues. Sound cues are incredibly important in this game. Um, whether it be whenever the you know throne starts shooting or when an IDPD officer has stopped shooting or started shooting or whenever a you know boss has started shooting or whenever little hunter is about to fall down on you you need to learn what the sound cues are also just reminding myself you need to learn how many different types of ammo an IDPD officer can deflect it's everything except bolts lasers and melee so do not shoot like a super plasma cannon at one of those guys like I have um, because that will not work, so yeah, it's kind of a little bit extra in there. But onto the sound cues again. You need to learn whenever like a car is coming for you if you get that far. Um, just, just the sound cues in this game are so incredibly important. If you play this game on low sound, uh, you're probably not going to do well. If you play it on no sound, you're probably not going to do well. So you need to know what the sound cues mean and like how to, how long to wait between them. Just stuff like that. Number 10 is kind of obvious, it's just practice. You need to practice at this game to get better, you need to practice at every game to get better, that's the only way you get better is if you practice. You're not going to make it into loop 2 on your first run, unless you're like Jesus. But if you're not Jesus, like most of us, you're not going to be able to do it. So, just saying, uh, you need to practice. Be very patient with yourself, Nuclear Throne is a game where you will die every single time unless you know you exit out or you actually beat beat the throne meaning you sit on the throne um, but you still kind of die there so just be very patient with yourself be, uh, practice a lot use everything that I told you to do uh, each time you die learn from the wiki why you died learn you know what uh, what enemy killed you how much damage they did um, also another thing kind of going to practice is practice while recording while recording, you can find so many things that you did that are not right. And, um, you know, you can just learn so much from recording. So it's very good, but just practice. So I hope you enjoyed this list of things you can do in this game. Um, if you did, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I have a whole Nuclear Throne playlist, so if you want to watch some more Nuclear Throne, and uh, where my where my voice isn't as much, you know, tired and stuff because I just woke up from like two hours of a nap because I didn't sleep very well last night because my dog gets so incredibly loud and it's insane. Um, oh, I just thought of another tip: do not use crowns in the beginning. You're not gonna know what they're do what they're do. You're not gonna tell what they're doing to your game. Just don't use crowns in the beginning until you've like at least looped once. Um, but anyway, those are my tips, those are my tricks. I think it's 10 I counted, I don't really remember, but whatever. Um, hope you enjoyed the gameplay of Fish. Hope you enjoyed, I don't know, this channel, I guess. Enjoy life. Goodbye.